Oh, hi everyone. Welcome back to The Sweet Factory. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Sweet Evie and I'm obsessed with all things sweet and cozy. Today is the first installment of Sweet Demos. We're going to be demoing a game called Spirit of the Island. It's available on Steam for $24.99, but currently running a sale until March 23rd for $22.49. So let's get started. Single player, multiplayer. So obviously I'm gonna do single player for now. Let's go with just Evie. Property name. Secret factory. Hmm, town name. Hmm, what is a good town name? Let's see. Let's just go with the whole sweet theme here. Everything about living outside of urban areas. Taking care of a farm brings you joy and animals mean a lot to you. Manual work is also something that is not hard for you. Countryside lover, there's also survivor. Survivor, you learned how to defend yourself during school and how to find different types of plants, organic things in nature. Forging and discovering are things that you really love to do. Food lover, for you, cooking is an art and spices are gold. You always think in different ways to cook, not only on land, but you also know how to deal with different types of seafood. Popular kid, which is not really me, but as a kid, you love to talk to others. People always enjoy being next to you. Joining friends and many adventures were a big part of your childhood. Builder, everything can be fixed or created as per your imagination. You love building stuff and destroying things as well. Connecting logic and crafting defines what you have become today. Collector, you are fascinated by everything that the world has to offer. The food, the people, animals, challenges, and even the danger. Living the life, as some may say. All right, which one am I going to pick? I kind of like the food lover, I'm not going to lie. I think we're going to go with that. All right. Um, survival needs are low. Stamina recovers faster and creatures are less aggressive. So since we're just going to start it out, we should go with the easy mode, right? right? All right, let's do it. Don't worry, they will wait for you and meet you here in one day. Well, you start your own journey. I love the art behind it, it's so beautiful. Spirit of the Island. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm not sure, like, what's happening. Okay, okay. Waking up. What just happened? The boat is gone. At least I am... <laughs> At least I'm on the correct island, I think. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, it's the same movement. WSAD, jumping space, E to interact, and your action is left mouth open. Okay. You also have basic human needs like hunger and thirst and fatigue. Keep a close eye on it or they will slow you down. Okay. Tab to check your stats. Go explore. Interaction is with E. As a first test, try to find your home. Just follow the road and go northeast from there. Okay. So you get your quests, you get reputation, exploration. See these other tabs too. I'm not sure why this changed, but we are going to change this back now. It changed as I was working on it, so. Oops, that was way too many hertz. That is better. All right, let's do this. Can I like pick up these things? There's the sign. <laughs> Everything's so cute. Oh. Follow the road north to reach E's lands. If you go south, you will reach the pier. North I go. I hope I have reached the sweet factory on. go too far because I feel like my lands are here. Oh, yep. Here's the house. Ooh. Oh, okay. Those things hurt. Awesome. Good to know. They have thorns. <laughs> oh, uh, if I remember correctly, find the house, found it, make it my new home, and then look for the elder. She is responsible for the local town around. Perhaps I could use this to start time to get it started and fix this mess. 1,000%. Let's do it. All right. Got a iron hammer. Got a watering can. Okay, okay. Got a iron axe. Chop down trees. All right, all right. Got a shovel. Perfect. All right, so... Then I can cut this down. All right, it looks like you can just hold down left click. So I'm just gonna do that. Gathered all these wonderful items. Let's get our pickaxe as well. So we can hit some rocks, do some mining. So as you can see, my fatigue is going down. That's because I'm hitting this tree. So let's go here. Dear Evie, this is your new house. There is so much for you to see and we did not say much. Also, when you find the elder at Sweetness, she might explain to you what bottle with the message inside about it. Okay. Okay. Her name is Tala and she can help you. But first, take a look around. This is your new property, your new home. We hope you can find new, you can make new friends and have a good life. With love, mommy and daddy. Find the pier. I assume the pier is like past my house, right? Oh, is this the pier? No. 
south. Let's go south, right? Let's go south. Oh. Oh, you could shake trees. Okay. Interesting. Oh, wait. Isn't this where I started? This is technically where my house... Oh, wait. But they did say the pier is down here. So explore the island and find the pier. I believe they said the pier is south, right? So... Let's go find the pier. Wait, I can get those. your boat here. Oh, you get a boat. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go to East Beach. Alright, actually, let's go back home and see if there's anything that I, any updates I can make. Oh, those are bees. Those are some sort of animal, which I believe is a frog. Back home. Oh my goodness, if I keep running into these. Okay, let's go see what our house looks like. New home discovered. How do I clean the whole stuff up? Uh, my poor house. Looks a whole mess. How do you fix any of this stuff? I guess I don't get to fix anything yet. Okay. Let's go to... Let's just finish what the quest want us to do. Let's go to the East Beach. I assume I'm going the right way. Ooh, what's that? Hold on. Pause. Oh, I'll have to find some sort of key. Okay, okay. Not gonna make it that easy for me. Oh wait, that's down here. All right, go back home and get some rest. Done and done. Ooh, flowers. All right, let's head back home, get some rest. Um, okay, uh, let's home up. Home is, yes, up, I believe. 
Yeah, past the lake. Okay, made it back home. Get some rest. I see the beds are upstairs. Yes, it is. <sighs> Personally, I've been thinking we'll say we do not close your game six hours. Confirm. <laughs> this is cute. Okay, and you wake up and it's way earlier. Okay, it's like eight o'clock. No. Oh, wait. I probably should have slept for till morning. Let me sleep till morning. I'm running and then wander around. <laughs> oh. No active quests. Alright, so maybe I have to go to the town over, to the actual town, which is probably over here, right? So let's go find that bridge. Trying to fix the bridge. Okay. I need to get wood, plates, stone. So, can you get stone from here? No. Stone and ropes. Rope, I assume I have to make from like fibers and stuff. Let's find some stone. Actually, let's cut some trees. Six. Get some wood, because I assume we're probably gonna have to make these plates. Oh, you can get apples from shaking the trees. Okay, gather some earth, which I assume is like clay. Okay, so what are these? So then, 
Okay, will allow me to get the rock. All right. Okay, okay. Got a whole lot of stone for that. All right, let's see about crafting. So we need 15, 15 wood plates. this y'all mm, lots of stone I still need a key for that which I don't have yet okay so let's mine this okay y'all so first impression so far game is super cute reminds me of like story seasons and stardew all mixed in one. Got some wheat seeds. Got some lettuce seeds earlier. my breath, give myself a minute. Um, all right, all done with that. My bag is full. up things how do I drop things like can I drop it yes my bag is full but did I pick it up mm, I sure didn't all right so let's just pick all this back up um can I make like, I can make rope. Oh, what do you need to make rope? Oh, I need plant fiber. Okay, I can make one rope. I need like a storage. That's what I definitely need. So where would I store items? Is there a place in here that I can store things? Okay, well, at least, like, your fatigue goes up. You just have to not be doing things. Small garage, a shop. <laughs> Get animals. Okay, 
Like I said, they were just like clearing this up. Out of materials to town. I probably have to go to town first. tired and then go from there. I definitely need to eat. Oh, food spoils. Okay, that's good to know. I'm not hungry, but I am tired, so I need to go get to sleep. I like how the sleep like it keeps you on the same screen. Like in Sardu, it takes you and tells you everything that you that you had to sell and everything. And it made this does too, but since I'm still at the beginning, it is, it, it is still the demo. But I do like how like you, it still keeps you on the same screen. Basically, you're just watching yourself sleep. Oh gosh, I do not have room for any of this. Maybe we will be able to increase our bag space. Hopefully. Ooh, thunder and lightning. It's getting real out here. I'm like leaving all these bags on the ground, but I have no inventory space. Oh, that was a big flash. I like how realistic the weather is. Wow. It's very realistic. Okay, so we're waiting for our rope to finish, which it's still rumbling. Our rope is done, okay. Pretty much just cutting all this stuff up. I mean, our fence is broken anyway, we're gonna have to rebuild it. Okay, I can make two more rope. And then I can go and give the materials for the bridge. Oh, that flash. All right, we got it all. Let's, because I can't pick up anything else. Let's go get the materials for the bridge. It'll be ready tomorrow. All right. Well, guess I'm going. Oh, wait, I'm thirsty. Okay. Thank 
pick up all these items. I wonder when I get to like actually play on them. Wait for the bridge to be fixed. So what else can I craft? Cloth, duct tape, firewood. I wonder when I get to actually like do storage. Storage is awesome. Alright. Well, it looks like I have to get some rest, so I'm going to gather a couple of materials around here. And then I will sleep. Okay, so you can move your mouse wheel to go through the hot bar to scroll through the hot bar. You don't necessarily have to hit the numbers. So that's good. Makes it a little easier. Because I know you're already trying to like move around. spring yeah so when do you get to like actually like plant I probably need like an actual <laughs> so I'm dropping this item so that I can use this item Okay, still can't pick up any of that. My inventory's a little full. Nope, got another apple. I feel like I'm just leaving all the stuff on the ground. Because I have no room. Okay, got the birds flying around. Can't pick up any of that. Gosh, I feel like my tools are gonna break. All right, let's get some rest. Oh, actually, let's clean this up a little bit. This broken TV's got to go. Way cleaner in here. All right, let's sleep for 12 hours. And do a little exploring and then hopefully the bridge will be done. And it's raining. Oh, it's not raining. It was raining while I was sleeping. Are these items following me so that I can pick them up? <laughs> That's interesting. Um... Organic trash. It smells but at least you can use as fertilizer or as a crafting material for something else. So if you get a bigger bag, then you can have more slots. So you can probably buy backpacks. Okay. Let's go to the bridge. So maybe we can go to town, maybe buy a new backpack. That would definitely help with this whole inventory problem. Because <laughs> right now, I have no space. All right, 
across the bridge we go. Cute, cute. All right. I'm mean, assuming that everyone is probably not here, being the fact it is three o'clock in the morning. John, I don't remember you here. My memory isn't that good. What can this little old man do for you? Nothing really. I'm Evie. I'm just trying to get to know everyone here. I mean, I don't really need anything really. I was just passing through. I was just passing through get to know you. I didn't get your name. Sorry. Someone like to live a simple life. I don't care too much about some stuff. You can find me near my tent. He runs in. Okay. Well, this is as far as the demo will take me. I don't actually get to go to town. Okay, well, first impressions. This game is super cute and I definitely recommend it if you are a Stardew or a Story of Seasons or um, My Time in Portia. So I feel like this game is for you. Um, it is on Steam, so it isn't like on Nintendo or Xbox or PlayStation. I believe it is only on Steam. So that's the only downside of Spirit of the Island. But I still think it's a really cute game and I definitely recommend. So um, I probably will buy the full version of the game. I mean, I definitely can go and get resources and stuff, but I think I'm definitely going to end it here. So thank you all for watching and I will be doing another demo soon. So you guys have a wonderful day and stay sweet.